In December of 2017, thousands of Los Angeles commuters were shocked by a sudden and eerie sight in the early evening sky that many mistook for a UFO or an asteroid flyby. Motorists were so distracted by the spectacle that it created a bit of chaos on the busy LA freeways. What so many Californians witnessed was the launch of a rocket called SpaceX Falcon 9, which is the brainchild of South African billionaire Elon Musk. The launch from SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne contained a secret payload which is codenamed Zuma, the details of which have been kept under wraps, thus fueling a certain amount of speculation about the actual purpose of the rocket launch. According to a series of tabloid magazines and websites, Elon Musk, a global elitist, has met several times with high-ranking U.S. politicians and military officials in late 2017. These meetings were intended to enlist private monetary contributions from wealthy donors so that the space project could go forward in secret and thus the government would dissolve itself of culpability in the event that the project failed. The contractor Northrop Grumman, which is the maker of the payload and are involved in the launch of the restricted cargo, has indicated that the project is being conducted on behalf of the U.S. government as a cost-effective approach to the access of space for government missions. Shortly after the launch of the SpaceX rocket, as was seen from Hawthorne, California, another launch took place, this time from Cape Canaveral, Florida, on the first week of January 2018, as shown here. Now, there is considerable mystery surrounding these rocket launches since it is unknown why the government has deemed this so important as to carry with this project special protection and secrecy. The payload blasted into space under the cover of darkness while millions were viewing the initial launch via a live video feed. Almost immediately after the payload separated from the booster, the feed was permanently cut off as was witnessed so that whatever payload the rocket was carrying would not be seen by the general public. When contacted about the live feed blackout, both SpaceX and the Pentagon refused to comment and remained tight-lipped. What Northrop Grumman indicated was that the cargo would be placed into low Earth orbit, providing no further details regarding its purpose. At the point of maximum stress on the vehicle, from that point on, we're going through thinner and thinner atmosphere, so stress will continually decrease. And we've just passed max Q, so again, that means that as we ascend higher and higher, the atmosphere is thinner, and we do not need to have as much stress on the vehicle. Now, we're gonna go through four events here in rapid succession, and those are in order, MECO, stage separation, SES-1, and the boost back burn. Now, MECO stands for main engine cutoff. That's when the first stage stops firing. There follows stage separation, when first and second stage depart from each other. SES-1 is the third event. That stands for second engine start. That's when second stage begins firing. And then the fourth event in that sequence is the boost back burn. That's when first stage begins firing again to start its trajectory back to landing zone one. Now that sequence will occur at about 15 seconds in duration, starting about 15 seconds from now. Oh, so this is RC on countdown. Please, the relinquish control of the camera, please. Roger. For its part, SpaceX has launched prior national security payloads, including a spy satellite for the National Reconnaissance Office, as well as a space plane called X-37B 
for the United States Air Force. But the mystery deepens regarding these space launches. Some are speculating that the rocket is actually destined to probe the depths of space for a brown dwarf planet that is hidden in our solar system, which then explains why these payloads have been classified. The cargo contains specific instruments created to accomplish two important missions. To gauge Nibiru's timeline, which has been almost impossible to estimate, and the other being to determine the effects wrought on our planet once it crosses our path. What is most interesting in all of the speculations surrounding this space mission is its possible connection to the legendary planet Nibiru, which is neither being confirmed or denied by the SpaceX pioneer or any officials at its headquarters. It has never been spoken of publicly. If you visit the SpaceX website, you will notice that the company's ambition is to revolutionize space technology, the ultimate goal being to enable Earth's inhabitants the opportunity to live on other planets. But why? Is there a reason that humanity is suddenly preparing the technology that would make it possible to inhabit other worlds? What is their motive and why is it all a secret? We must ask ourselves these questions. You see, not all speculation is conjecture. Sometimes the truth is hidden in the midst of the secrecy. We may never know the real truth here, and yet it becomes our responsibility to seek absolute answers rather than accepting half-truths and smoke screens about the purpose of the rocket launches from both California and Florida.